Hello friends and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Encouragement for today. A ray of hope coming from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. And there's just not a better place to find that ray of hope than in the light of God's holy and precious word. Today, friends, we'll be in the book of Esther, Esther chapter 6, and we'll look at verse number 1 as our text verse of Scripture. Now, notice what the Bible says here. On that night could not the king sleep. And he commanded to bring the book of records of the chronicles, and they were read before the king. And friends, I pray that God would certainly add his great blessings to the reading of his holy and precious word on this beautiful day. Get that good fresh cup of hot coffee on this cool, cold morning. Let's have an encounter with God and His precious Word on this beautiful day. Well, amen. Friend, there's just not a better way to start a brand new day. Good, fresh, hot coffee, and a fresh word from Almighty God. Today, friend, I want to bring to you a devotional thought titled, Restlessness. You know, every one of us from time to time deals with a restless spirit. Now, there are many reasons for this, but one is because we're not doing things like the Lord would have us to do them. We're doing things in our own way rather than aligning with God's holy and precious will. Now, Esther chapter 6 is a beautiful example of this. The king had unwittingly been deceived into signing a document for the destruction of the Jews. And subsequently, the king could not sleep because of a restless spirit. So he called for the chronicles to be read. And as they were read, he discovered through them an error that ultimately led to the salvation of the Jewish people. Listen, friend. Has God made you restless? You just can't put a finger on it, and you don't know why the agitation is there but you have an uneasiness in your heart that just won't go away. Friend, don't be surprised. The Heavenly Father is actively seeking your attention. When such a time comes and you can't rest, the wise thing to do is to stop and to ask the Lord what he's trying to say to you. Think about this, and now let's pray together. Lord, when our spirit is restless, remind us that we need to seek you, to know your will, and how you desire for us to proceed in our lives. And God, as you reveal it to us, we'll give you praise. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen 
and amen. Well, friend, I pray the devotion has been a blessing to you today. And if it has, you bless someone else by sharing it with them. And remember, it's your life that is the Bible that some will read today. So let others see and hear Jesus in all you say and in all that you do. God bless you all and have a wonderful day.